See, Mark, you look at Hall, and this is a guy first in terms of freshman in the Big 12, but also fifth overall in the Big 12 in rushing yards. He put up numbers. He did his thing. I, I love what he brings to the table. I want to jump into the film because we mentioned that Brock Purdy being able to run helps, but look at the way that they can use him as, as well. This is another Matt Campbell thing. Your, your running back flexed out. Brock Purdy holds that hanger, that end man on the line of scrimmage. He holds him, and he's able to find a way to get into that end zone. And then you see Hall with the patience when he comes over. He's going to let the blocks kick out. But then what you're going to see is watch him get that foot in the ground right there. And then the vision and the balance, great contact balance. He's rarely tackled by the first defender. And like all the great runners, the kid knows how to finish. Yeah, this is a thing for me. He reminds me a lot. And this is one of the plays that I love. We've seen plays like this out of a guy uh, that went back to school to the surprise of most of us, Travis Etienne. I think he has that same type of an energy. He's not a juker. He's not a dancer, no. but he's got great no. balance, and he runs through contact. He's stronger than I think people realize he is. He's a strong lower unit for sure. You can see it here. And what we always say on guys like this, you got to tackle them with population. I mean, look at all these white jerseys that have to get to the ball. I mean, if you don't get 11 hats to him, it, it's going to be tough to bring him down. Watch the way he just runs with power. And then he gets behind those pads, and he's always got his legs churning. He is an issue when he gets to the second level. Yeah, and watching his runs, this is probably my favorite one. And it's not just because it's a long run where he scores a touchdown and he shows a little bit of that speed uh, that he has. I love it because when we get to this rear view, and I don't know if you saw this, I don't know if you, I don't know if you saw this in the rear, in that rear angle, but when you see the rear angle, watch this subtle one, one step jab. And the way that uh -huh. it takes the defender offline, and he's able to break that tackle easier. Whoop. Yeah, yeah, that, he, it's that dead leg. What you want to do when you get up on the on the defensive back there is you want to freeze his feet, and you're going to see that he does a nice job of freezing the defensive back's feet with a subtle move. There it is, right there. And then all of a sudden, he shoots a stiff arm. And this is what I like about him too. He's got a little bit more deceptive speed than people give him credit for for yes. a guy that weighs 215 pounds. And then, of course, in today's game, whether we talk NFL, we talk college, you better be able to catch. And, I mean, what a snag right here for this guy. And you see there, that's, the, again, that's the weaving. He does this weaving thing that we see out of Travis ATN. that's not the hard jukes. It's just a little bit of a weave. But I love the fact that he's, he can make a one-handed catch as a running back coming out of the backfield. Making it look very natural. I mean, great, great eyes, way to snatch the ball. And then, yeah, he's got that little subtle – shimmy to him where he can give you some shake in the open field and he's not a pure burner but he runs well enough um and then he you know he puts you under some strain because he has that power and you're trying to set up you know to tackle him for power and then he blows by you and makes you miss in space so it's not hyperbole michael I'll say this kid's one of the best running backs in the big 12 already being so young he combines a lot of strength power and speed and i think yeah he's silencing a lot of the critics right now yeah, I, I think that he's a great addition to what was a Charlie Kohler who we're going to talk about, Brock Purdy, Matt Campbell sort of trio. Now we've got a, a, we've got to force him here. And listen, this quartet, I think they're going to be playing big-time music. 